it's time for a Fontaine shootout. And today we're going to have a look at the interesting new Caveco Perkeo versus the Caveco Sport. All right. Ideally, it would be interesting to compare the new Perkeo to a plastic sport, a regular sport, but I didn't have access to one, okay? So I had to use what I have, and what I have is this, a metal sport. I'm completely aware of the fact that these are more expensive, they're heavier and all that, but I may, what I mainly want to focus on is the size, all right? The size and then the writing. I also don't have the same nib on this, I don't have medium on this, medium on that. Okay, I'm just trying to give you an impression of the two pens if you're trying to make a decision, all right? So the Perkeo, I've done a separate review of. It's a new pen that Caveco has. I think it's interesting. It's bigger, and that's something I would really like to emphasize. It's a lot bigger than the Sport is, because even though this is a metal Sport, it's the same size as the plastic one. Uh, and that's interesting, because the whole fun of the Sport was you have a pocket pen, you have to post it, and then you have a reason reasonably sized pen that you can use. With the Perkeo, you don't have to post it. You just uncap it and you use it. You can post it, but you don't have to. And I think that is really the, the 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 big difference between the two. You just get a much bigger pen with the Perkeo, but it's very affordable. It's uh, about 15 euros. I think the uh, sports are about 20, 25 now. Uh, so definitely interesting. As far as I can tell, they don't use the same nibs. All the sports, and for a long time, all the Caveco pens use the same nibs. The Sport, the DR2, the all round of the student, they're all the same nibs, so you could easily exchange them. To me, it looks like this is a, a, a new nib, a slightly different nib. So I don't think you can just uh, exchange those two. And that's pretty much it. So. Two pens, one bigger, one smaller, and what I mainly wanted to focus on was the comfort of writing. So let's do a writing sample. Let's see how the two stack up, and that's it. Bye. Okay, so here we go. First with the Perkeo. Nice that you can just slip off the cap. You don't have to uh, unscrew it. The ink is just a cartridge that came with it. So it's uh, Caveco Blue. A fairly feedbacky nib. To the point where it may be a little scratchy for me. But that's something you could smooth out for sure. Does write though. Ink flow seems to be pretty good. That was me squeezing it a bit too hard. And as I said, I mainly wanted to focus on the, the writing experience here. These cutouts on the feed, I'm sure, are not for everyone. I know that with the Lamy Safari, some people love it, some people hate it. And I can see it will be the same thing with this pen. It's a very hard plastic, and I too feel that it, I, I, I want to hold it in a slightly different manner for my writing angle and that that doesn't really work so that that may be something that you don't like so much some nice line variation to be had although the feed has some trouble keeping up with that uh, but not at all a bad pen then we have the Caveco Sport and again I know this is metal also this is not a medium nib this is their double broad nib but it's all I had access to so it's just the way it's going to be um, which also has the um, uh, Caveco blue ink in it. Well, clearly a double broad nib, a bit more polishing material. Uh, that also means that it can be a little smoother. But in all, I have actually always found the uh, Caveco Sport nibs to be very smooth. So I wonder if it's the, the Perkeo that, that really stands out. Writes well, uh, is definitely smaller. Obviously, this is metal, but I, I have used the, the plastic sports fairly extensively, and I have always liked their size, and uh, they're, they're, they are very light. 
Um, to me, the section shape is nicer on the Sport. I, I prefer this to the, uh, uh, the faceted section of the Perkeo. And I understand that this is also a smaller section, and yet it doesn't bother me. It's comfortable enough for me to, to hold like this. Okay, wetness, well, double broad versus medium, so probably not entirely fair. Um, but as you can see, it's not a super wet uh, double broad anyway. Line variation here, there is some. And here too, the feed kind of gives out. That was really pushing it though. So I don't think you should buy any of these pens if you really want a, a flexi nib. Two interesting options. I like the Perkeo. I like that it's a very affordable option if you are looking for a pen. I can definitely see that working out well for school or something. Uh, so that's very nice. And the Sport is a classic, classic design and it's been around for a long time. Uh, if I were to pick one, I would probably pick the Caveco Sport. I just like it a little bit better, I like the way it feels a bit better, I like the section better. And for me it's no issue that it's small, you post it and you have a very usable pen. So there you have it. I hope this was a, a useful side-by-side -side comparison and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.